New teams are coming to the NBA and Adam Silver has hinted at this idea for years and there have been some cities that have been desperately begging for an NBA franchise. But the big question is what cities are actually going to get new NBA teams. With the NBA's collective bargaining agreement expiring after next season, anything can happen. An expansion may just be one of those things. The last NBA expansion happened over 20 years ago and that means that we are due for some new teams. And check out what Adam Silver had to say during this interview at the NBA Finals. Do you see in the near future more expansion teams like you hear Seattle, you hear Las Vegas? Is that a possibility? It, it is a possibility, and I think what, what we've said in the last few years, number one, we wanted to get our collective bargaining agreement done, so we've done that now. And the other thing, we wanted to understand what our new media rights packages are. And, you know, as Matt said, those negotiations will begin, you know, in earnest probably in this next spring. Once that's done, we'll turn to expansion. I think it makes sense over time. You know, if, if, you're, a success, if, if you're a successful organization to continue to grow, there's no doubt there's a lot of great cities who are interested in having the NBA. Adam Silver isn't the only one that thinks expansion is going to happen. Even NBA legend Gary Payton thinks that the NBA expansion is inevitable. In an interview with TMZ, the supersonic legend told them that the NBA expansion is destined to happen, and Payton would know just as much as anybody. This could also mean a huge payday for for the NBA. The value of NBA teams has only been going up. During 2001, the average NBA team was worth only $207 million, which is a lot. And nowadays, the average team is worth over $2.8 billion. That is 13 times the value over the last 22 years. These new NBA teams are going to cost a lot of money, and Adam Silver even said that the reported $2.5 billion buy-in would be too low, which is insane. Now, I can't imagine how much one would be now with the Suns just selling for over $4 billion this year. But where would some of the cities actually be? Now, the obvious choices are Las Vegas and Seattle, but there are other options as well. And some of the other contenders are teams that have either an NFL, MLB, or an NHL team, but no NBA team in the city. This could mean places like Nashville, Kansas City, or even St. Louis. With the passionate fan base already established, that would make it very easy for an NBA team to fit into the city. But what if I told you that there's a chance that the teams could not just expand throughout the nation, but internationally? Could this mean a team in London, Paris, China? After one of the international games in Mexico City, Adam Silver said, quote, there's no doubt we will be looking seriously at Mexico City over time. Showing that moving out of the country is not out of the question. This could bring a whole new meaning to the get ready to learn Chinese meme. And when you look at this idea from a business standpoint, it really makes a lot of sense because as they're able to expand the NBA across the world, they are just gonna get more and more viewership. Of course, there's already a ton of viewers from out of the country that like watching the NBA, but imagine if those countries that are already watching the NBA also had their own team to root for. This ultimately would expand the game of basketball and bring new fans and new viewers to the game. Now doing this would change a whole lot of things. And one of those big changes would be in the draft. Now in the NHL, they've been adding in some new teams and we saw a favorable draft process go to the Golden Knights who were found in 2017 and they just won the Stanley Cup finals. And so there's no doubt that if new teams are added to the NBA, the draft process is going to be something that they really need to think about because this could affect franchises and teams all over the NBA. Teams would have to make huge decisions on what players they would decide to keep on their teams and which they would allow to go to the draft. And this would definitely spread out the talent even more in the NBA, which could get rid of some of the super teams that are building up right now. Some fans might love this and other fans are going to absolutely hate this. There's no doubt that this is going to be incredibly expensive to own a team and you might be wondering who can actually buy these teams that are gonna cost billions of dollars. And the truth is there are plenty of investment groups, there's billionaires, there's even Saudi princes that are trying to buy teams and now even players can own teams, which is gonna spice up things a little bit. We all know LeBron has mentioned for a while now that he wants a team in Vegas. And even Tom Brady is a part of an investment group that could look at an NBA team. And even Patrick Mahomes could be looking at an NBA team if they come to Kansas City since he's already already invested in the Royals. And one of the challenges that could happen with this new expansion of NBA teams is that there would be a spread out of talent. This could mean two things. There would be too many players coming in and the quality of play would actually go down 
or this just gives more players the opportunity to shine and prove that they can play in the NBA. Destinations such as Kansas City, Mexico City, and London are going to be hot, but the two front runners for an expansion team are Seattle and Las Vegas, and even the commissioner said this. Seattle is in a great position as they already have the arena, and they even have the mayor who hinted at the expansion saying, quote, and we're not talking about like five years from now, we're talking a much, much shorter window. A new NBA team in Seattle would finally fix what the NBA did to the Supersonics, and they would finally get their team back. And let's not forget that Vegas is in a great position too, with the money booming throughout the city, with an MLB team also coming in. There's no lack of investors or fans wanting a team there. I mean, they just got a football team and a very nice stadium in Las Vegas. Everyone wants a slice, even LeBron wants in. And here's the secret plan that he has to buy an NBA team in Las Vegas. So click on the video to hear all the details on LeBron's new plan.